If you've been a long time subscriber, you probably know that I'm a big time iPad Pro user. When they announced it last year, I had my friend bring it for me from Singapore full 15 days ahead of its launch in India. Watching Apple announce it last year had my mind going in all different directions about how I could use this iPad and iOS 11 has completely changed that game. I have been writing all the scripts for these videos since October of this year on the iPad Pro while listening to some great music by simply saying, hey Siri, play some chill music. Like I said, iOS completely changed the game. What was once a leveled playing field for Amazon, Apple, Google and Microsoft is now completely in one company's favor. Drag and drop has also completely changed how pro users use the iPad Pro in contrast to, you know, someone just buying the iPad Pro because it looks fancy. And this has been a problem since iOS 11 that there was no central place to get all your files which you've dragged and dropped into a central place and bring it out from there. So what these are called as shelf apps and that is what we're going to be looking at today and this one is called Yoink. Yoink has been available on macOS for a while but it truly shines on the iPad. Yoink debuted with simple drag and drop features but the 1.1 update which dropped last week has made it a true companion for my power user needs. You can drag and drop almost anything that's supposed to the gesture into Yoink. Yoink handles it and generates previews if feasible. You can even group items into collections wherever it makes sense. This is very useful when you're dragging items out of Yoink as you'll see later in the video. To ungroup them, simply tap on options and click on group. Say you're drafting your blog post about how calm music can aid with improved focus or in this case, chill music, or finishing up that assignment that is due tomorrow morning and need to insert some visual aids to supplement your text, you can have all of these in Yoink ready for when you need them. Once inside your text editing app, simply drag Yoink out of the dock and then drag individual items into your editor. If you drag a collection out, it'll drop all the items inside it when you lift your finger. Super convenient. If you think dropping two or three dollars for such a simple app is excessive, well, wait till you hear the next part. Yoink now integrates with the Files app and comes up as a file provider. What this enables you to do is open up files and drag and drop files from all your various providers like your macOS server, iCloud, Google Docs, Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, and even your Synology if you have it on network. And you can drag all of these files into Yoink, have them there, and then take it later to the other app like text editing or whatever you need, wherever you need these files. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities. You can finish all your visual aid work on a computer, bring these files onto your iPad and when you're away or even if you're at your desk, you can continue working with them and drag these into, say, for example, your text editor. Heck, if you are someone who has an Apple Pencil and already uses apps like Procreate or Pixelmator and the likes, you can create these visual aids right on your iPad Pro and drag and drop these into Yoink and take them elsewhere later. Super convenient. Now, some of you all may find this a bit too advanced or a bit too fast paced, but that's not the point. You can always come and rewatch the video and go through it step by step to learn how to do these things. Yoink also has a very excellent web page on their website, which I'll link down in the description, which has some neat little tips and tricks that you should definitely check out. The whole point of this video was not only to show you what Yoink can do and what it is capable of and be a review of the app, but also to show you what your iPad Pro is truly capable of. But if you've already made up your mind and you are ready to buy Yoink, I'll leave my affiliate link down in the description. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you disliked about it so I can improve on it. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in that one. Cheers.